I'm going to demonstrate how to do passive range of motion on a, a bunny rabbit. Anytime you're doing passive range of motion, you need to make sure that you're stabilizing the joint that you're actually going to mobilize. So for example, when we're starting with the tarsus, which is the ankle or the hock is another name we use, you want to put one hand above the hock and one below. I'm holding the bunny nice and close to my body so they're supported. This way they can't injure their back. The closer you hold them actually, the safer. I'm gonna take the foot and bring it in, which is doing flexion of the hock. And now I'm gonna extend. And you can hold the stretch for a couple seconds. Now I'm gonna flex. And now I'm gonna extend. Flex. You can do this for about one to two minutes. Now we're going to move on to the knee or the stifle, which is right here. Now this bunny has uh, a lot of arthritis in her knee and so we have to be careful. We may not be able to get full range of motion, but now I'm going to shift my hand, one above the knee and one below. So now I'm going to extend and flex, extend and flex. We're always keeping the knee parallel to the body. I'm not pulling the limb out from the body and I also don't have it too far in, just right in line with her body. So I'm going to extend and flex, extend and flex, extend and flex. Now we're gonna move on to the hip. Come on in here, Bridge. Do you want a little cherry? A little cranberry? Good bunny. You always want to make it a positive experience for them. Very important. She likes it. You like your new tweet Dr. Elrish got you. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the hip, which is located way up here. There's a little bone. It's called the greater trochanter, and that actually helps you to identify the hip. So now I'm going to put one hand back here to stabilize the actual pelvis or the, 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 um, the lower back and the other hand um, in this bone which is the femur. So I'm going to put my other hand here. So now I'm going to extend the hip and I'm going to flex it and I'm going to extend the hip and I'm going to flex it, extend and flex, extend 